Okay, I'm doing my green seasoning. So I'm washing my cilantro, my thyme, my pepper. I have my peppers, bandana, cilantro. I have pepper. I'm washing it because these things carry a lot of sand between. So you have to wash it clean. Okay, I have a cup of ginger, two cup of garlic, and some thyme, like a bundle and a half of thyme. So all these have to combine together and then I'm, I'm gonna uh, put it in the bulletin. So I made my green seasoning. This is the thyme. I'm going to add some oil. And one fourth water. Nice and creamy. Everything blend. Mm, good. cup of water and just a little bit oil the oil prevented from spoil so you now get the white white stuff on it Okay, my grind seasoning is finished. You use this to season meat, any meat. You could throw it on the grill, you could fry, but it's best to season your meat overnight. So it's seasoning soaked in. I'm gonna add a tablespoon salt to 
my dish of seasoning that I just grind and I'm gonna mix it up. This has everything that you need to season chicken. Pork chop, steak, fish. This is it. Don't forget the ginger in here, the hot pepper, Se um, cilantro, bandana, garlic. Okay, if you like it, please subscribe it, share, leave the comment. Oh, for fish like you orvage, you average, how much fish you get? You could use a teaspoon if, if not much fish. If, if you have a whole lot of fish, it's a tablespoon. Okay, now if you're gonna season, say like a pound of chicken, this is what you need, a tablespoon. And you season your chicken and leave it overnight. Or let it sit like two hours before cook. Do not put a dirty spoon in your seasoning dish because you're gonna spoil it. You're gonna start to foam up or the color you're gonna be discolored. So always use a clean spoon. Enjoy your green seasoning, season your food, let me know how it, how you like it.